Does that all go through okay? Yeah. I do. Thank you. Alright. Time to pick up the bike. I can hear it. And now I can see it. Oh, look at it. Fantastic. They even managed to repair the seat, actually. I did ask them to. Oh, they've done a fantastic job. That looks as good as new. It's a shame I've not really seen Terry around to give it to him. Hmm. Right, anyway, let's get that back to the yard. Busy day today. Really busy day. It's going to be even busier because I haven't seen Terry all week. Yeah, it's certainly harder without him. Certainly is harder without him. Let's pull this up in there, actually. Yeah, what what a bit of a, a nightmare. Last week. So Kevin Enfield is Terry's dad. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Puts me puts me in an awkward position. Puts Terry in a really awkward position and I do feel for him. I really do. Because, you know, he enjoyed it here, he loved it here, but I can only assume that his dad stopped him coming. I don't know. I really don't know. I've not seen him, not heard from him, not anything all week. Yeah. It's a shame. I really liked Terry. And now that he's not here, I miss him. And all these little things hanging around are just probably... Well, they're never going to get done. No. Travaskas has sold one of his cars, though. That's good, isn't it? And... He's only got one... I don't know what it was. What was it? We, we drove straight past it. It's an old golf there, look. But I'll tell you what. They cleaned that up pretty good. Between them. Jurassicus had to get the pressure washer out and finish it because <laughs> Terry wasn't here to do it but Terry did the mechanical work and that has come out really clean really really clean impressive you should make some decent money out of that you know yeah I reckon so now busy day today some great news Loretta has been working tirelessly to sort it we finally managed to sort out that 
government subsidy, that kind of annual allowance which they pay to farmers here in the UK. And we, we finally sorted it out. Finally sorted it out. It's probably not the best it could have been. I think if we were a more active farm, certainly in last year, we would have made quite a lot more money. Or well, certainly would have got a better subsidy anyway. But it's £54,000. £54,000. That, that's okay. That's good. We It's money we need, though. It's money we really need. And we need to invest it very wisely. This isn't for for me to spend on niceties. This isn't for Travaskis to, to waste on anything unneeded. I've got to really think about how I'm going to spend this. So I think I think a big thing to do is invest in the cows. The cows are a big part of the farm now. Travaskis is a big part of the farm. I mean, even Terry's a big part of the farm. Anyway, come on. Let's get on with it. So, investing in the farms. What what we're going to do, we're going to buy a large milk container. Because they're at an age now. They've had some calves. Travaskis knows how to do it. Again, we might have to we might have to think about who we can get here as a farmhand, to be honest, depending on what's happening with Terry. But yeah, we can we can make quite a bit of side income. The local shop will, will certainly buy freshly made milk, and we can we can organise a little kind of small contract with them. So what I'm thinking is let's get some sort of tank here. Now I've been in contact with the manufacturers that make it, and they. Uh, they are due to come around at some point this week, this week coming. But we need to prepare an area for them to put something. So I'm thinking here, you know, this area was just wasted by that old combine anyway. And the longer I leave it, the more it grows. It's, it's becoming a bit overgrown. So, yeah, I, I, I need to level this off a little bit. I mean, this is relatively level already, so it shouldn't take too much work. So today's going to be a job for the class. The class is going to be busy. And while I'm at it, I need to level this off. I've been saying it for months and months and months. I need to level this off. I probably need to get some of that stone from down there in the distance. And kind of spread it right the way along here. Right up to the cow barn, I think. We need to do that. Do you know? I was saving it for Terry. I was going to get Terry to do it. I even planned to train him on that front loader this weekend. But what can I do? I can't do anything about it. Now, we are harvesting probably next month. In the next two, maybe three weeks. So that would be good. But again, even more things to do. Do you know, I didn't realise how much I relied on people until they're not here. I think if Travaskis wasn't here as well, I'd, I just wouldn't cope. I would not cope. This farm has grown. It's bigger than a one-man job. Definitely. Now, surely Travaskis is here. Let's have our little morning check-in. See what he's up to. <laughs> look, those cows were so well behaved when Travaskis wasn't around. And now look at them. Morning, Travaskis. Oh, hello, my handsome. What are you up to today? Oh, just bloody talking to the cows. Not bloody spoke to them in ages, my handsome. Oh, okay. They're uh, misbehaving again. Oh, I know. Bloody little bugger. That's that one I'm going to call Kevin. Kevin. What do you think about that whole thing that happened last week? Oh, my God. I can't bloody believe that Kevin Enfield was bloody Terry's dad all along. My Christ. Yeah, I know. That, that was a bit of a shock, actually. That was a bit of a shock. Hmm. Oh, my Anson, where is that bloody Perry, anyway? I I genuinely don't know. I've not heard from him all week. I've not seen him all week. He's not been here. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. I'm not even sure exactly which house he lives at, to be honest with you. Oh, bloody hell. Christ, that bloody Kevin Enfield's not letting him come back, I reckon. Yeah. I genuinely think you're right. But what can I do? There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. He made himself look like a bit of an idiot though, didn't he? Oh yeah, my handsome bloody hell. When you walked away, the bloody crowd were out there arguing with him and everything. Christ. Were they? What were they arguing about? Oh, they bloody teasy because I didn't tell him it was his son who bloody worked here. 
Wow. I mean, it was a bit naughty, wasn't it, really? It, it kind of getting, getting a whole process organised without anyone realising it was his son. And he knew full well his son was on an apprenticeship, surely. If he didn't know his son was on an apprenticeship, then he needs some coaching sessions, I think, on how to be a father. Oh, yeah, my handsome. He just bloody don't like you. Yeah. That's how it feels. I still don't know why. I still don't know why. And regardless of what Kevin Enfield thinks of me, I, I, I really don't understand how anyone knows about that stuff that happened with the caravan. I mean, only really you knew about that, maybe, and you and me, maybe Loretta, but I just don't understand. Oh, I not bloody said a word to anyone, my answer. My bloody lips have been sealed, my bird. Well, yeah, I knew that. I knew it wouldn't be you. I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, anyway, handsome. Bloody Perry, better hurry up and get here. He got my bloody tractor to fix. <laughs> is that what you're worried about? Do you know how big my list of jobs is to do? And all you're worried about is that tractor. Oh, my Christ. I need to bloody put the money back before Mrs. Travaskis sees I've bloody spent some. <laughs> Does she not even know you've been buying stuff? Oh, bloody hell. I'm not telling her that. Christ. All right, anyway... I, I can stand here chatting all day. I'm going to jump into the class today, get the bucket on it. I'm going to try and level out level out the walkway there coming up to the barn. We we need to prepare for this kind of big milk tank coming. I don't know exactly how big it is, but it's going to be installed out there, I think. And You're still alright getting all the, the milking ready and everything? Yeah, you, you reckon we can make some money out of that? Oh, yeah, my aunt's and bloody loads of money. Christ. Good. All right. Well, it's got to be worth it. It's it's about fifteen grand for this tank, you know. It's not cheap. I I haven't got a lot of money now. I've got to really, really be careful. I've got about fifty grand to to figure out everything we need to get through the year. Honestly, money is very, very tight. Oh yeah, bloody hell, my handsome. Okay, I'll leave you to it. All right, give us a shout if you need anything. All right, my handsome. All right, you'd have me there chatting all day. I reckon. I need to to come up with some. This this money I've got, the 54 grand, I mean, as you probably just heard then with Travaskis, the, the milk tank, that's going to cost 15 grand. So, yeah, actually we've only got, wow, just shy of 40 grand. But something I really need to look at and prioritise is some form of manure spreader, but also some form of slurry spreader. I feel that'll be a good investment though, because... We can start to help out those local farmers, start to get our money back on those quite quickly. And again, I don't know what's going to happen now, but that was going to be something that Terry is going to get to do. I don't think I can commit to doing work for other people. I can't even get my own stuff done. Yeah, I do miss him actually. I do miss him. Anyway, come on, loads to do. Those to do. I actually parked it there ready to give it a clean, but what's the point? It's going to be a messy day for the class today. It's going to be a messy day. I reckon if I just lower the bucket down here and just scrape the ground, it, it's relatively loose, I'm sure. Yeah, let's position ourselves, scrape the ground, see if we can just level this off. And definitely, while we're at it, while we're in the mood, let's grab some of that stone. Even if I just do a very fine layer for today, at least it'll uh, at least it'll look a bit better. I mean, I imagine when this when this manufacturer turns up to to deliver and install that that large milk container, they're probably going to have quite a big vehicle. So I need to try and do what I can to make it relatively level anyway, just for them. I will end up with a bigger delivery charge or something. Right, come on, let's get on with this. It is struggling a little bit, but you can do it. That is way better. That is way better. Look at that. Lovely. Right, let's go grab some stones. Let's make sure no one's coming. 
I'm still secretly hoping Terry's gonna pop up out of nowhere. But I just don't I don't think it's gonna happen. Alright, let's get some of these stones out now. Right, there we go. Full load. Amazing. I say it every time, but I really should get a weight. I really should get a weight. See, do you know what? If Terry was here, I'd probably get him to convert those barrels. I've got a couple of red old oil barrels hanging around. See one of them up there actually. I could probably get them get them converted into weights as well. Terry could do that. That'd be good practicing for his wilding. The wilder's even arrived as well now, and he's not even here to use it. I don't know. Right, come on. Let's try and do this now. This is gonna be a struggle without a weight. That is much better. That took a lot longer than I thought though. And I've not even started up here yet. Oh dear. Does look good though. Does look good. It's got an admire my work. Let's turn this off. Give it a bit of a rest for a minute. It's doing well that class. It's doing well. Terry did a good job. Yeah, this isn't too bad. It's not it's not the neatest job in the world, hey. I've not exactly gone up close to the edge of the barn there, but it's alright, that looks good. I mean just just remember how rocky it was. One hundred times better. One hundred times better. Again though, th this is a nightmare. I'm glad I didn't bother washing the class because it's absolutely covered in dirt and mud and dust and oh, it's just awful. Now I might sit down and have a cup of tea quick and then get on with this. Oh dear. Hey, at least it's level though. That's probably going to take out half of the job. It's pretty much level. I've just got to evenly spread some stone down. I think I can do that relatively easily. Anyway, I'm going to go find Churrascus. I'm sure I've seen a flask of tea in there. And pinch one of his cups. Save me making one, wouldn't it? I can't believe you drank that whole flask of tea already. <laughs> Honestly. Ah, oh, bloody hell, my hands are my bloody hard work, aren't I? Thirsty man. <laughs> yeah, alright then. Oh, where the bloody hell is Perry? I don't know. I really don't know. I keep hoping he's just going to turn up out of the blue, but... I don't know. I don't know. We need to figure out where he lives. We can pop by the house, maybe. Knock on the door. Don't know, probably end up having a fight with his dad though. Probably not a good idea actually, in all honesty. Oh, don't you be bloody doing that. I can't run this bloody farm about either of you. Hell! Yeah, that's true. Anyway, today was a bloody day. I was going to beat him at chess and he don't turn up. He knew I was going to bloody beat him. Um, I don't think that is the reason he's not here. I also don't think you will beat him at chess. Oh, yes, I bloody can. Christ, I'm bloody 86 I am. Bloody all those years experience being beat by that little whippersnapper. Well, you'll have to get used to playing chess on your own for a minute, I think. Oh my god. Okay, I've just got to backfill this area a little bit with stones. Yeah, it's coming out alright though. I've scraped off the surface. It's looking really good. Let's just get these stones piled up. And we're done. It's not, not taken too long. Not taken too long. I mean, this is pretty much going to be the entirety of the day. But, actually, it is a job that's needed doing for quite a long time. And I genuinely think investing that, that bit of money, it is a lot of money, but investing that in the cows. Trying to get some, some extra money from the milk. I just think it's obvious. What, what's the point in wasting that? I mean, at the minute, we're getting a little bit of milk and we're just using it ourselves. And now we're getting far too much for just us. It's it's just why would you pour money down the drain? Literally. 
literally. Well, it's not too bad. So far, so good. There's still quite a bit to do, but getting the stones here is the hardest job because of the weight and the mud. But once they're here, just running over it a few times and they kind of crush down almost the dust, really. And it comes out all right once, you, once you've levered it out. So not too bad. I haven't done an amazing job here. And do you know what I thought? Let's just pile the load up there because actually, I'm not going to know exactly where this milk tank is going until it gets here uh, and we can just kind of make a good base for it. I mean I would have thought surely that's part of the installation though they'll, they'll probably cement it or concrete it in anyway wouldn't they anyway Travascus has just shouted at me to say there's someone at the gate hopefully it's the delivery hopefully it's the bike that would be nice at least there's a little bit of good news today our new motorbike all right let's go have a look well it's not the bike but I'm always happy to see Paul. I don't know if I want to see what's in the newspaper he's got today though. Because I'm assuming that's why he's here. Let's sell him in. Let's go talk to him in fact. Hello Paul. Oh hello my cock, you right? Yeah, I'm not too bad mate. Look, lots going on today. Tiring work today. Boring work if I'm honest with you. I'm just sat in a digger. Well, tractor. It's doubling up as a digger today, just trying to level out this ground, really. It's going towards the barn. Oh, bloody hell, my handsome. Well, you know, once in a while, not too bloody often, but once in a while, I will come give you a hand. Yeah, I know. I, to be honest, Paul, I'm so busy now. There's so many little jobs to do, and I'm taking on more and more fields. I just need a farmhand, and, and I need to actually employ a farmhand. I mean, Terry was... Terry was fantastic, he really was, but he wasn't a farmhand, he was only here two or three days a week just as part of his apprenticeship, but I could do with Terry and I could do with him full time, to be honest, and that, that was actually something I was thinking about, but after last week, I haven't seen him since. Oh yeah, bloody hell my god, you had some bloody drama around here, didn't you? Christ, everyone's talking about it. Yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare, but I mean, <laughs> where you're parked now was police cars and police cars and people and there must have been 30 people here out kind of protesting and news reporters and Bamwell gossip that newspaper you always buy they were here interviewing asking me questions it was it was, it was insane it was surreal if I'm honest oh wow bloody hell my handsome yeah that Kevin Enfield Christ I got something for you here have a look at this all right, uh, newspaper. Okay, here we go. What does it say? Okay, neighborhood watch leaderless. Kevin Enfield steps down. <laughs> well, this should do. It serves him right, doesn't it? Barmouth's tradition of the local neighborhood watch is likely to come to an end as, as the long standing leader, Kevin Enfield, is forced to resign his position. <laughs> is it is it really a position Paul? Does he resign it? I don't know. Locals were not happy after last week's protests left them feeling embarrassed and misguided by the watch leader's false information provoking the demonstration. Yeah, well, I'm glad they're starting to see through it because, wow, I, I think he's just an absolute stirrer. I don't know what he's got against me, but I'm glad the locals are seeing through it now. Because I've done nothing wrong. After learning the allegations were in fact made up and referencing his own son, Terry, Mr. Enfield has lost a large majority of his community stature and trust, and stepping down from his role was inevitable. The majority of locals are still unsure of Jack Penberthy, although, after learning the allegations were untrue, the fact his apprentice was provided with good working conditions and income is winning over some opinions. Amazing. Unfortunately, it's not winning over Perry. Wow. 
it's not winning over Kevin Enfield because I'm pretty certain he's stopping Perry coming back here. I can't believe that was his son all along. He's nothing like his dad. His dad's just a nightmare. Oh, bloody hell, my God. Yeah, you've done the bloody locals a favour, though. Christ, you've caught him out. Now he's bloody stepped down. That guy's been a pain in the ass for bloody years. Yeah, well, I don't particularly feel happy about it, Paul. But, hey, at least there's a silver lining, I guess. Every cloud and all that. Oh, yeah, bloody hell. Well done, my handsome. I'm bloody proud of you. Wow. Thanks very much. Anyway, anything else I can help you with today, Paul? No, that's it, my cock. Of course, it's not coming in there. I'll get stuck talking to my bloody father. Yep. And because he hasn't got Terry here to wind up, all he wants to do is talk. So, if I was you, he thinks you're a delivery. I'd make a move before he realises. Oh, bloody hell, cock. Thank you. See you later. See you later, Paul. Right, that's that. That is that. I'm shutting the gates again. I've got into the habit of shutting these gates after that protest. See you later, Paul. Cheers, my bird. Right, come on. Let's carry on. <laughs> Kevin Enfield has stepped down. Wow, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, and he deserves it. But the biggest frustration is... That's even more things he's got to hold against me. He's the reason he's lost his little kind of leader position in stirring up the locals, stirring up the neighbourhood. It's even less likely he's going to allow Terry to turn up and, and do some more work with us. Hmm. I don't know. I'm quite sad about the whole thing, actually. Just frustrated. Frustrated. And still a little bit worried about... Who on earth knows about that caravan situation? Not that I did anything wrong. I've, this is not a guilty conscience. It's just, how does anyone know? How do they know? That that was a part that I, I kind of forgotten about completely. And it's all come back. Dealing with those two thugs. Having dealings with Big John. I just, I'd just rather forget all of that, to be honest with you. I really would. Right, anyway. Stop mucking about. Got loads to do. The bike's here. The bike is here. And this is a nice little surprise. Loretta must have got me a little personalised plate. Must have cost a fortune. But hey, she's the boss with the money. She's the boss. I'm not going to question it. I love it. They've cleaned that up real nice as well, you know. They really have cleaned it up pretty good. And I also like the helmet. I like it. Yeah. I wonder what... I wonder what it sounds like. Let's remind myself. It's been a while since I started this. It's been a while. Alright, let's give it a go. Ooh, that sounds nice. That does sound really nice. Now, I don't know. Should I drive this down here? I don't want to get it dirty. And if I hit some mud on this, I don't think it's going to end too well, is it? Um, let's just try and spin around in the yard. Whoa. Oh, i got to get used to the clutch on this. Wow, it must have some sort of sport clutch or something. Let's drive it. It's either on or off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Okay. This thing is fast. Um, this thing is really fast. Take me out off and get off. That just sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. It looks awesome. Let's get my torch out. Look at the detail on this. Oh, it just looks fantastic. I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. The thing I'm most happy with is I don't have to drive this anymore. For two reasons, it is so slow. Man, I have to leave two hours early almost just to get here. Well, that's an over-exaggeration. But 
that's just going to be so much better. But secondly, I hope Terry comes back because that that is Terry's. It, it's already Terry's. Worst case, I've got to find out where he lives and just deliver it, drop it to his door. Yeah, I did all of that for Terry. But I guess that's not an official income, I suppose, if you ask the newspapers, anyway. I don't know. Right, I think uh, let's turn that off. Better not waste fuel for the sake of it. Good. I think I'm done for the day, to be honest with you. It's sort of, it's, it's mid-afternoon. There is a lot to do, but I'm just feeling a bit down today. I'm going to go in, spend some time with Loretta and the kids, I think. And uh, I'll just show you what I've done down here. It, it, it's not looking too bad. It's far from perfect, of course. But it's not looking too bad. Yeah, we, we've leveled this off here. I'll just leave that there tonight. I cannot be bothered anymore. I've got a bit more to do. We'll carry that on. Before they get here in the week, I'm sure we'll have time. But it's looking a lot better, isn't it? Look at that. That just looks fantastic. In comparison, it looks brilliant. Right, anyway, I'm done. I am done for the day. Just check on Travaskis, lock up the farm. Yeah. And we're going to head on home. Let's pull these two. Right, that's it for the day. You wanted a hand for an hour, but we're all good. We're all good. Do you know, it would be nice if I can get like a, a shutter door for that. I think having all of those people outside the farm the other day has kind of made me... I mean, I've got some nice chunky gates, but it wouldn't take much to climb that wall, would it? Hmm. Yeah, I could do with some doors. I could do with something. Just to make it more secure. Right, anyway, come on, I'm just hanging around waiting for him now. Are you ready yet? Ah, oh, bloody hell, my handsome. I'm bloody 86. Give me a chance. Well, come on, man. Even the cows are getting fed up with you now. All oh, right, I'm coming. All right. Do you need me to walk you home? Hold your hand. Oh, you cheeky sod. I bloody do this every morning before you're even out of bed, you lazy bugger. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, I'm shutting this gate behind you, all right? All right, my handsome. All right, I'll see you... Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, all right, my bird. All right, let's get these closed up as well. Doesn't feel the same. I expected Terry here today. I expected him here yesterday. It's just not the same without him, you know. It's far too quiet. It's far too quiet. Right, let's uh, let's start making our way home, I guess. Try not to kill myself on this. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this clutch. It is literally on or off. I just don't want to accidentally fill out in front of someone. Come on. Oh gosh, I'm speeding. See this car? This car right up my ass. It's 30 mile per hour limit. Slow down a little bit. Wow. Uh, that is fun. <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> it's so fast. I've got to be careful here. Oh dear. Right. Do you know, I want to get a lean-to or something here. I really do. Especially now that this bike is here. I feel a little lean-to would be good there. Definitely. Loretta will probably want one there as well, I expect. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to have a look at that. Anyway, it's nice to be home. It's nice to be home. Early in the afternoon, I've actually made it home for tea. All right, let's see if they're pleased to see me. Jack. Hey, you all right? I'm off to bed. Okay, no worries. I'll just finish this last little episode here on YouTube and I'll be straight up, all right? Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, night. Quite like this guy on YouTube. <laughs> uh, it's amazing how much time I spend watching YouTube, you know. But he ain't bad, he, he does alright. He ain't perfect, but he does a good job. Who's that knocking on the door? It's like half ten in the evening. Alright. Hello? Oh, hello Mr. Penperfy. Terry? What, 
what you're doing here at this time, mate? 